get into the frame types. While coming from for frame types, it can be further classified into tricopter, quadcopter, hexacopter, octocopter, X8 and Y6. Tricopter. By, by the name itself, we can get to see it has three arms. At the each arms, one motor will be connected at the each arms. From first arm to second arm, the total angle will be about 120 degrees. It is called tricopter. Quadcopter. In quad, in quadcopter, we will be having two types. One, one is like plus, another will be like x. In quadcopter, from one arm to the next arm, the degree will be like 90 degree. The same, each one motor will be connected at the each arms. Hexacopter. Well, coming for hexacopter, we will be having six arms. It will be the most famous model. So each motor will be connected at the each arms. The angle between the one arm to the next arm will be 60 degree here. Now we are coming for octocopter. It will be having 8 arms. The same one motor will be connected at the each arms. The first motor will be like acting on clockwise and next will be counterclockwise. Clockwise, counterclockwise, clockwise, counterclockwise. The angle will be 40 degree. X8. What is X8? X8 is a special model in the quadcopter. It will be also a quadcopter, but one motor will be connected at the front side and one motor will be connected at the back side. So now we can you can ask the question: what, uh, the, the, uh, the quadcopter and this X8 is the same model. Why can't we use quadcopter? In X8 we can uh, we can lift more payload so that the redundancy of the machine will be increased. So while comparing to the quadcopter. The same uh, similar thing is Y6. Y6 is nothing but advanced model of the tricopter. We can say it is a special model. It will be also looking like Y. One motor will be connected at the front and one motor will be connected at the back.